Friends, welcome back to Refuge Reel. I'm out here on the Fall River chasing the elusive rainbow trout. It's a beautiful morning. I have a question for you. Have you ever made a bad decision? A decision you thought would be good and would turn out well and it just didn't? Well, we all have. I want to talk to you about a story that Jesus shared in the book of Luke about a young man that made a bad decision and a father that loved him through it. We're going to worship in the barn for a few moments and I'll see you back out here on the river. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all its stealing. Come on church, aren't you desperate for let me tell you about my Jesus. He makes a way where there ain't no way. He rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't say. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. The good news is I know you the question before we came up here on the bank. Um, have you ever made a bad decision? Certainly all of us have. We've all made decisions that we regret. I want to turn to the New Testament, the book of Luke chapter 15, and I want to read to you a story that Jesus himself shared with the group that was with him. Chapter 15, verse 11, a man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now instead of waiting until you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, his younger son packed all of his belongings and took a trip to a distant land. And there he wasted all of his money on wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him to feed his pigs. The boy became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired men have enough food to spare, and here I am dying of hunger. I will go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against you and heaven, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. 
Please take me on as a hired man. So he returned home to his father, and while he was still a long distance away, the father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. He embraced him, and he kissed him. His son said, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to his servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. A couple things I want to share with you. Number one, the father was watching. I wonder if dad was out there at the end of the driveway every day waiting for his son to come home, watching until the son said, will my boy come home? Number two, when the father saw him, he ran to him. He didn't wait for his son to show up. He ran to his son. In the Jewish culture, men don't run. They don't run with these long robes on, especially elderly men. But this man ran to greet his son. And then number three, he kissed him and he embraced him. What a loving touch from a father. Bring the finest robe. Not a cheap garment, but the finest robe in the house. And adorn my son with it because I love him and he's come home. Put a ring on his finger. A symbol of a family's authority. The signet ring of the family. Put it on his finger. He's part of this family. And finally, he put sandals on his feet. Slaves in the Jewish culture back then were barefoot. Sons and daughters had sandals. I mentioned it in the last refuge that slaves work for love. Sons and daughters work from love. Powerful picture. This, the father put sandals on his son's feet. Jesus wants to put sandals on your feet. Many of you watching, all of us, I suppose, at one time in our life, we've exchanged being sons and daughters for the mark of a slave. We've become a slave to our desires, a slave to money, to wealth, to fame, to bitterness, to fear. Something has taken the place of Father God and we've walked away. If that's you, and you want to come home today, back into the embrace of Papa God, you can do that. It just takes a minute. I want to pray with you that you'll bow your head before a loving God and say, I want to come home. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, somebody's watching that needs to come home. And I pray right here, right now, that that person, son or daughter, would bow their head and say these words, I have walked away from you. I have never known you. You are Jesus. You are the Son of the living God. You died on the cross for my sins, and you rose again, and I accept you as my Lord. I accept you as my King, and today I want to come home. Father, I pray that someone would pray that today, and that they would come home to your embrace. Jesus, thank you for your promises and your word. Papa, God, thank you for your Son. Thank you for welcoming us all home. We love you forever in your precious name. Amen. Amen. If that was you, who you were before today is different. Welcome home. Welcome home to God, to the Father, to Papa, as you embrace him. If you're ever in Central Oregon, come visit us at Refuge. Come visit us at the ranch. Uh, may God bless you as you walk out this life being a son or a daughter of the King. We'll see you soon.